What's up guys, welcome back to LIFM. We're going to be doing another game of EDH and MTGO. I'm going to be playing my Gaddic Teague deck, or digging out my Gaddic Teague deck, I should say. And I'm facing Grimgrin. So I'll keep this hand. And I'll start with Terramorphic. I think the right thing to do here is grab a planes. I'll land I'll actually land this. I don't need to play Gaddic T right now, in my opinion. So I'll do it like this instead. So my opponent hasn't played any blue mana sources yet, which is probably a good thing for us. I will put Teague out this turn and pass it back because it's getting to the point right now where my opponent's at four lands and might have some spells that aren't creatures. Okay. So let's start by attacking for three. And I will play Ratchet Bomb. And I think now is a good time to land another land that comes into play tapped, anyways. That is a thing. And you got it. Yep, back to the command zone. I think I take two here and wait for his commander to exile. I think that's the right play. So end of turn, I'm going to put a charge count on Ratchet Bomb. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll do it this way. This way I have access to Battle Effigy and I can play Path to Exile as well on the same turn. Unfortunately, this just hits my stuff at this, mo at this point in time, so there's zero reason to cast it. Now there's a reason to cast it. So I'm actually going to exile this now. Just because of the life. And I'll take the three. I'll save Battle Effigy. And this is the perfect time to four, five, perfect time to, to cast this. While I have a target for it, make it a little bit bigger and pass the turn. I can't actually block this because it has fair, but get rid of the whip is, I think, pretty good at this point. Okay, and here is the commander. We've been waiting for that. Four, seven, eight. So you can definitely recast it if he wants to. Doing this absolutely wrong. Start off with the Pride Mage.
play a land for the turn. Put a one of one counter in the Pride Mage and then swing. Always yield. Now let's see if he blocks or not. Okay, so that <coughs> I think that's the right way to do that. So if he does sack something to untap his commander, then I'll exile it. One, two, three, four. You can recast his commander here, which is fine. That just means one more turn to find another answer for it, basically. Okay, so I'm not drawing good here at this point. I can attack for eight. So I will absolutely do that. One, two, three, four. Cast my commander. Put a one of one counter on it. And play a land past the turn. So he has something to sack here. That's absolutely happening. And I guess Gadictique dies. Yep, that seems fine. You can go back to the command zone for now. So I've taken 7 commander damage from my opponent, and that is Stuffy Doll. That is a really good blocker. <laughs> I, um, I basically can't attack through that thing. I'll take 5 and my opponent will take 3. Hmm. I don't think that's worth it. So I think I'm going to pass the turn here. Put me to 24, my opponent to 23. Is that a race I can win? No, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay, interesting. Let us do this. I'm not too worried about Swift Foot Boots. I do have a way of dealing with it right now. Pretty good there. Ooh. It's one of those small instances where my commander comes to bite me in the ass. On the other hand, I'm completely willing to go three life for three life. Seems like a more fair trade at this point. 
always yield and pass the turn Grim Grin again. You got it. Another case of my commander biting me in the ass. It's funny too because I think I only run three or four cards that do this. And that is one of them. Pass my turn. My opponent has four cards in hand, so the question is, is Grimgrin untapping? Yes, Grimgrin is untapping. All I can do here is hope that he kills my commander. What I will do is attempt to gain one life first. Put my commander in the command zone. Now I've taken 14 commander damage. I can't take an attack from that next turn. So if he time walks here or something, that's just game. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think I start with wake. Two, four. Harmonize. Land. Two. For Oblivion Ring, and into Troll. Put a one of one counter on Troll. And I think just pass my turn here. <coughs> no point in swinging for four. Oh, I thought my opponent was going to pass the turn for a second. Four, eight, ten, eleven. There's enough to recast Grimgrin. Definitely enough to untap Grimgrin. That's actually not a bad card to see. Two, four, six. Hmm. I can make blockers here. Kind of think I have to do that. Cast my commander and put a one of one counter on it. I think that's all I can do this turn. It's because if I s attack with any big creatures, it's just too much damage coming from this. So I'll pass the turn. I can neutralize the one damage from that with Sap Seed Forest as long as I have. As long as I have mana and uh, enough green permanence. 
So this is probably this turn is probably going to be very relevant. see what he has. I think I run 28 creatures in this deck, so I'm kind of surprised I've only seen one of them. To give it anything else? Okay, sure. He's big. So they're both coming at me. I'm going to gain one life here. Put a regeneration shield. Yep, that can go in the command zone. And five seven and just two there oh you know what I should have blocked this with an another creature yeah I should have blocked that with more creatures that was a mistake on my part so I lost the token there for no reason. And Elspeth is going to die. That that actually does suck here. Interesting. What do I have in here? Ratchet bomb. Hmm. Six Sun Titan Absolutely I want to bring this back and uh, might as well put a one of one counter on it. I think that's pretty much all I can do for my turn. Unfortunately my opponent can do a lot more than that on their turn. Yep. One hit from Grimgrin just straight up kills me. Four, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So even if I kill Grimgrin, he can recast it again. It costs seven for that four, six, seven, okay. So we can kill Sun Titan with that right now. Interesting, not Sun Titan. Hmm. Okay. So I'll gain one life. Put a regeneration rege shield on this, and I might as well destroy this. 
<clears throat> when Grimgrin attacks, Sun Titan dies. Unfortunately for me, I don't have another um I don't have another planes in play. So this goes at Grim Grin and this goes at the messenger. That's fine. I'm going to lose that life eventually anyways. <clears throat> Acidic slime doesn't do much for me here. But definitely going to cast it anyways. Start with that. Gain one life and pass the turn. Maybe I should have recast my commander there now that I think about it. I completely forgot that it was dead. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I could have easily cast it. Okay, here we go. This might be game. Yeah, I drew very creature light this match. That's pretty good right now. And uh, acidic slime dies this time. But I don't think he's gonna. Okay, he does attack with something else. Interesting. Okay, so I'm back. Um, acidic slime's dying. I cannot do much about that. Yep. You got it. And put a regeneration shield. and block because if I take this one time I just die now there's a card that's not the worst card to see right now so let's cast that sooner rather than later <laughs> my opponent's laughing Definitely a luck sack for drawing that. I was hoping to draw something like that. It's not going to win me the game, however, because uh, Stuffy Doll is...
put him in a 10 turn clock. Oh, he can't even return this. Nice. Very nice. So, I have zero reason not to cast my commander here. And I think I should just pass the turn. I don't think I should put a 1-up encounter on it. Hmm. I kind of want to. I think that's exactly enough to recast Grimgrin one more time. Which is trouble. You really need a planes at this point. Hmm. Hmm. This isn't going to do as much as I want it to do. Because for sure he blocks. My problem here right now is that this card is killing me. On the other hand, this does give uh, my commander protection from blue. So that could also be useful here. Yeah, I'll just play defense. Of course, if he has an edict, then that changes everything. At this point in the game, I, I just want to draw a planes. Okay. This is just to negate Stuffy Doll's ability. Mystifying Maze, that's good too. What I need is an answer for Stuffy Doll, so I need to draw Swords to Plowshare or something of the sort. A Plains... A Plains actually, um... Does it as well. In the sense that I can return Acidic Slime and destroy my Oblivion Ring. And then hopefully return Sun Titan the following turn, bringing Oblivion Ring back. Okay, so he's just gonna make his commander really big this turn. doesn't matter much to me because one hit from it was going to kill me regardless but I see the point there's there's no point in not doing it Yeah, my main concern right now is getting rid of Stuffy Doll. That is not a Plains, and I completely forgot to gain a life end of turn, so... I'm gonna do it now while I remember.
I yielded my turn, so this should go a little bit faster this time. Okay, let's see what our opponent has for us. This card's actually going to go a long way right now. I actually didn't think this game was going to go that long. Um, so it's going to be Wrath of God or Path to Exile. Both of which suck quite a bit right now. I wouldn't mind Path actually. I can live with Path. Because I'd be able to get a Plains. Nah, he's gonna u draw three cards from Har Harmonize. Right, can't cast Harmonize. So this is good. I get a Plains. So I just need to live this turn. Two, four, six. I think I should just take the one from this. But I choose to block it. I don't need the land if it does get destroyed. I'd rather it not get destroyed, but I'd rather this die and he, he has to use more mana to do the ability. So I have a few options here. I think I should start with Sun Titan. just because it gets me back the pride mage anyways and the pride mage can do the same thing equip sun titan or attempt to equip sun titan two four six eight ten twelve Recast my commander. Vesuva copy and mystifying mage, um, maze, and that will be my turn. My only issue here is the flyer that I do not want to exile, but most likely will. He can cast Wrath of God. I can live with Wrath of God, to be honest. Actually, he can't cast Wrath of God. Keep forgetting that my commander's out. So yeah, I can exile this freely here and not have to worry about anything. The 
it's actually been a really long game. Like I said before, I thought this game was going to be finished a while ago. I'm not sure if I should put this game up when it's over. <laughs> we'll see how I feel when it's, once it's done. Okay, here we go. Grim Grin targets Gaddock Teague, of course. I gain one life. I pay four more. I exile the Luvin Primordial. Teague dies. Seems fine. And Grim Grin is a 8 8 able to become much larger much uh, very easily so there's no point even trying anything with that looks like my opponent has shenanigans maybe I think they're just gonna cast harmonize and not wrath of God here given that they're going through all that I mean, it doesn't hurt to draw three cards. Okay. So, Acidic Slime, I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to get rid of a land. Because the shenanigans are getting pretty good here. Okay, that's a card. I'll cast it. Really? Okay. That act that works fine too. So first let's gain a life. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Is it fourteen now? Yeah, this is really expensive at this point. Attempt to equip Teague. Okay, so I got Teague in. Two, four, six, eight. I considering I don't want to take six damage, I do not swing here. <coughs> Seven damage actually, definitely do not swing there. So the idea here is that my opponent is going to swing with uh, his commander and destroy Sun Titan, at least in theory. And that directly affects whether or not I sack my Pride Mage to destroy Oblivion Ring. Be right back.
Okay, so clone. Target and swords, I can't do much about that. It sucks, but I can't do much about that. Which means he's not going to be targeting Sun Titan with his attack. We'll see. He doesn't target Sun Titan with his attack. I can block with Sun Titan. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to exile that and I'm going to exile Actually going to let that die. And I'm going to block Grim Grain with Sun Titan. That is a lot of mana. Okay. This guy again. Pretty good. Hmm. End of turn. I'm gonna sack my Pride Mage to destroy my Oblivion Ring. I think the only thing left in here is Wrath of God and can't cast it. Okay, so upkeep, I want Sun Titan. And I want, I guess I just, I got to get rid of Stuffy Doll. It's killing me. Yep. Let me take one more. Let's see what I draw. Come on, top deck. That is that's a card from the top of my deck. <coughs> Not looking great. Okay, pass the turn. We are way behind in cards and creatures as well. So my guess is Grimgrin kills Sun Titan when they attack. Can't block any flyers. 
can block one flyer. So let's see. Sun Titan. Teague. So my opponent probably has something in hand that they want to cast. Interesting. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 17. Well, let's start with this. And... Hmm. That's going to put me in a bad position as well. Let's do Commander. Activate Gain one life Block Two Four Six Block Let's see what else our opponent has for us. That's a good card. That's a really good card. Okay. So I need to draw something amazing or I'm just dead on my on my opponent's following turn. Well, there's Wrath of God. You can always cast that. I wouldn't mind if you cast that now. Uh, you know, fun. Sun Titan. Returning. I don't have anything in here that deals with flyers. Or has haste. So, guess the Pride Mage. Or Sword. No, I'll go Ratchet Bomb. Maybe I'll top deck something relevant. <laughs> That's another land. Where were you guys earlier? Fourteen, sixteen, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And I guess I passed the turn here. I don't think I'm coming under this one. This turn is going to be it. This game's been so long. Time's almost up. should be ending now anyways is 
affect this. Hmm. Looks like my opponent's thinking how he should win. If I take this, I die. If I take this, I die. If I take this and this, I die. So it's looking like I'm dead. Yeah. So that works out to... Five, six. That's exactly it. I think I'm just dead from that. If I was a good player, I would have gained a life before I let my commander die. But I didn't do that. Yeah, I should have gained a life before my commander died. I would have just lived this turn. Yeah, that's the game. If I end up putting this up, thanks for watching.